I'm back. I've been kind of looking at charts the past uh, few days. I'm starting to feel like more in the zone because I took a long break and the last few videos I made, I just didn't really feel fucking like myself or I felt almost a little detached from the whole market just because it's been so long. But like I've been diving in the last few days and I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm getting back. I just bought a bunch of Brit today, bought some Brett and some Benny. So I'm going to talk about all those in their own videos. But right now I'm going to talk about Brit quick. We're super bottomed out. The last bottom we had was $280,000 market cap around. That was after that huge panic day where the whole market took a turn. I see bullish divergence in a few areas right now from here to here. See how the momentum is going in the opposite direction of the price. That is bullish divergence, um, which tells me this wedge might play out here because there's a wedge, a falling wedge, this blue guy with the blue lines and a falling wedge. If it plays out, it'll pop up the height of the wedge. So, and if it doesn't, whatever, I'll buy more on the way down because I know this thing's going to fly long term. Um, yeah. So that's one of the divergences I see. Let's check out the one hour. See another divergence here. So it means the cell pressures slowing down. See the 15 minute uh, chart, same divergence in the same zone there. Okay, so let's look at uh, what's going on with the holders. Here I'm just checking the biggest holder and looking at his transactions. He last bought $1,000 worth and then $900 worth seven days ago when we were only at 380 k market cap. So this tells me he has conviction and he will definitely be buying big whenever the price goes down. Yeah, so the biggest holder has $11,000 worth in his wallet. Number two biggest has 8000 then three six thousand so we've got high conviction holders so the holders are still looking quality even though we're like bottomed out like this is panic zone for most people right and these guys aren't selling their bags so that means they have conviction um which is all good signs the twitter 22 hours ago with the post got the likes up got some comments reposts august 15th two days ago another post the day before another post um a based hangout on august 11th which these have been happening often so the fact that brit is out there keeping people engaged while the market's down it's huge because most people, most devs and teams kind of just fuck off and wait till the market comes back and starts a new project, you know, just to get some money, basically. So this all means that the people behind the CTO, they're not in it to fucking make, take your money, you know, because they li like the market's not in any condition to do so. So they're truly in it to uh, make this thing go. Let's uh, check out Telegram. Oh yeah, I'm already in it. But yeah, Telegram active. G Money, the owner, AKA Brit. He is in here all the time. Good sign. Yeah, 520 members. It's growing. This is the, the newer Telegram. They had another one, but this is the CTO one. So it was like, I don't even know. I think it was around 300 like a week ago. So it's growing. Here's what he says. It's the final shakeout before the super cycle of of all of crypto begins in October, November, and will most likely peak in March. Don't get shaken out of your bags and sell for loss. Hands will be rewarded. It's true. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, so 2025 is probably when we're going to be taking profits, like big profits, you know what I mean? Um, and like he says, like October, November is kind of probably when things will start to warm up again, which means we got six to eight weeks here to uh, accumulate. So, yeah, that's what's going on with Brit. Um, market's slow as fuck. Literally everybody who's going to be on base chain when the whole bull run is in is not here right now. So it's hard to say what's going to happen over the next, like, few weeks. But as of right now, I'm, I'm hoping this wedge will play out and get a little pump. And... Uh, yeah, just keep an eye on the chart.